So could other North Charleston officers be in legal trouble because of these police reports? I want to bring in criminal defense attorney Brian Claypool. So, Brian, you have two sergeants in reports. Sergeants, these are leaders in this police department, and they say that CPR was given to Walter Scott. The video doesn't show all of the aftermath, but it certainly shows minutes after he was shot. Did the officers in their reports break any laws here? Well, I, I don't think they broke any laws, and realistically, I don't think they're going to be charged criminally in this, in this case at all. They might, though, face civil liability under the Fourth Amendment for an unlawful seizure and, and for the, the grief and the, and the despair that Mr. Scott went through from the time he was shot until he died. But the problem with, with prosecuting a police officer criminally for failing to render medical aid is an issue of causation, because any time you charge an officer with a crime, you've got to prove causation. For example here, that the failure to render the medical aid actually contributed substantially to Mr. Scott dying, and that would be a daunting task. I see, I see what you're saying, uh, because he had been shot five times, Correct. and it was very possible that even if uh, he had gotten aid immediately, he might have passed right. away. Okay, so what about whether or not this is a slam dunk case? Even though there's this video, um, you say it's not right for murder or perhaps even for manslaughter right I'm telling you I know everybody is feeling some degree of relief because uh, Slager has been charged with murder but I will tell you look at the, the track record of police officers nationwide prosecuted for murder it's not a good one getting a conviction against a police officer even in the face of a videotape like this is very very difficult because at the starting point the police officer is gets a 10 yard head start in a hundred yard dash because their job is to protect the public and the community okay so let's talk about what might come out in a court of law uh in a, in this case you've heard from now mario givens this other uh resident there who was tased when he wasn't even the suspect that Slager was looking for. It seemed that Slager may have, and he was exonerated, it seems that Slager may have sort of tased him and then asked questions later. Could that be introduced in a court of law? Might that sway the jury as to what the impulses of Officer Slager, uh, what, the, what the pattern of his impulses are? Right, I think that's a good point. If Slager is tasing somebody who's not even a suspect in a crime, then that likely shows that he has a propensity for doing this and maybe he's not mentally stable to be on the police force. You also have to look at prior complaints that have been filed by citizens against Slager. Any prior civil lawsuits. That'll come in? Oh yeah, that'll be invested that, that will absolutely be investigated to show that he has a pattern and practice of engaging uh, in, 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 in a maniacal behavior like this. That'll be an important set of facts to look at. All right, Brian Claypool, thanks so much for your insight. Sure.